The House of Representatives today amended Section 84, Subsection 8A of the Electoral Act 2022 to enable statutory delegates participate in political parties' congresses and conventions. The current Electoral Act prevents statutory delegates from taking part in party primaries. Emmanuel Ehijane completes the report. The Senate had on Tuesday amended the same section to allow statutory delegates eligible for voting in political parties, congresses and conventions. The amendment followed the consideration and passage of a bill for an act to amend the Electoral Act No. 13, 2022 and related matters, House Bill 1984. It as presented by the House leader, Al Hassan Adodogua, at an emergency plenary session summoned by the House. According to Dogua, the amendment will allow statutory delegates, in addition to the delegates elected by various political parties, vote during congresses and conventions to elect candidates for various political offices. I urge my respected colleagues to move in the same line on same direction, and it is no nothing other than a simple insertion in section 84, 8A, where it involves an inclusion of this place, that in addition to statutory delegates already prescribed in the constitution of our party. The deputy speaker thanked lawmakers for responding promptly if to the emergency plenary so session progress, to pass the bill. Be... The House has determined a number of issues, and I think it will not be too much. If it cannot be resolved within a very short period of time, for us again, either for the leadership to intervene, if there is no much progress, I pray that will be ex uh, ex uh, a very excellent progress moving ahead. In his reaction, spokesman of the House, Honorable Benjamin Kalu, said the House must be commended for its quick action to correct the mistake. We have found out that there is a missing link in Section 84.8, if left to be as it is. It will defranchise people who are ordinarily supposed to be automatic he also reacted to the judgment of the appeal court ruling, which set aside the ruling of the High Court that nullified the controversial Section 84, Subsection 12 of the Electoral Act 2022. Carlos said the spirit and letters of Section 84, Subsection 14 are still alive. For the advancement of democracy, the doctrine of separation of power must not be suffocated. In all, whatever we do, must be to preserve our democracy. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.